Avam here, and I've got a treat. The year is 1990X. Could only mean one thing. We're in one at. It's Earthbound, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, one at small town in Eagleland. Oh my. This game. Put some time in on this game. Bought it at a Kmart. I got it at Kmart. Mom bought it for me. Came in a big box. Huge box for a Super Nintendo cartridge. Because there was a strategy guide in there. The whole strategy guide came right with it. There were these scratch and stick sniffer. Scratch and sniff stickers at the end. Holy cow. And I put so many hours into this game over that summer. And then subsequent summers since. And years since. Join Avan. Tracy. Were you freaked out? That's it. That's what you get. We got the crack bat. Got to equip the cracked bat. This was, uh, the first modern-style RPG that I had ever played. And it was very interesting to, you know, because I had played Secret of Mana and those kinds of things. Final Fantasy and Dragon Warrior for Nintendo back in the day. All of these. And then this comes out, and here you are <clears throat> in a modern setting. It was something. Look, lady, just because I play video games all day when I'm not working so that I can bring entertainment to others does not make me nuts. Oh. So you can actually just go out the door without talking to her and you go the entire way uh, <laughs> with your jammies on for this, for this uh, prologue here. That's nice of her, you know. Let's see what the phone has to say. It just says beep. That's it. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? I like how even the speech uh, bubbles had inner thoughts at times, which was which was new. It was it was so interesting. This whole game, and then the music was just great. Apparently, you find out later that uh, One Et is known for its roadblocks. There you go. One One Et police are infamous for closing roads if something is going on. We are going for the world record. And like, there was a humor in this game that just was was interesting. Don't panic. It's just a what meteorite that who fell. I just want to what go home. He's got problems. All right, we won't judge him. Then this guy. Did you hear the Big Bang? I think a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. Yeah, you're not doing shit. Let's go to Pokey's house. That's Picky. Oh, hi. Pokey, my brother, ran out of here to chase after a police car. He said, Picky, you should stay home. So I'm home watching our house. Mom and Dad aren't home yet. They went out to an elegant restaurant. Uh, apparently, the house is in Eagleland. And one at, uh, they just are large rooms with uh, the same furniture uh, in both sides. So that's a thing. 
and uh, they have really retro furniture. So this house, if you if you go the layout that's here, there is one bedroom. And uh, this. So there's no kitchen. You know, I, have, I guess we have to suspend disbelief. But, I mean, still, it was the, the interiors are just as cool. It's just funny how you look at the layouts of their house that we just accept as normal. So, I guess Pokey's out looking for something. Oh, police officer. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home. Pronto. Man, he told me. That guy doesn't like his job. So here's the infamous uh, stance of this game. You'll always see these guys, their animation is just constantly in motion for standing. But if I stand still, it's always going to be one foot up. Just the infamous stance. That fun old walk and then sideways doing the air splits. <laughs> just make our way up this mountain really is a beautiful place uh, this is liar exaggerate X liar X exaggerate hey Avam hi buddy a meteorite fell down and went boom it was a real mess for a while I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help make my body stronger however the weaker citizens probably fainted I also want to tell you whoops I almost told you about my uh by the way Avam did you check my billboard I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Oh, I got a check. Sorry. Treasure Hunter. This is Liar X Adgerate's house. Liar exaggerates. See? See what they did there? Clever. Uh-oh. Well, let's see what this cop has to say, because apparently it's just okay to come up here. That meteorite looks different than usual. It's strange and marvelous as, w uh, as well as mysterious. Ooh. Shh. Talk to this cop then. Nice timing, Avam. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? Uh, no. You're not friends, but aren't you neighbors? Come on, help me out here. All right. Hey, Bam, don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops. Oops, I mean officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Thanks, Pokey. Clear out, get out of my way. Clear out, get out of my way. Clear out, get out of my way. Clear out of way out. Get my... Whoops, my mistake. I mean, get out of my way. Man, this game is great. Already excited. Here's a present you find just in the wilderness. There's a bread roll inside. All right. You know, that was the other thing when, when you're younger playing this. And you're reading through the stuff. It's like, bread roll? I know what a bread roll is. Other ones, it was like porridge and, and, and things that you, uh, that weren't quite as common and, and seeing in the stores or as meals you would order. And it was like, in the modern setting, it just was a very cool thing to see. Oh, mom's out. As big as the door she is. Oh, she's as tall as one story of the house. Our mother's a very tall woman. <laughs> But apparently so are we, so that's okay. Welcome home, Avam. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed. Yes, I'm going to scoot off to bed. Probably later that night. Dun, 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 dun. dun. What in the world is that noise? 
Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. I know! Who the hell could it be? My land! Who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you answer it? <laughs> Son, if you die, it'll be fine. <laughs> Let's see what... I've got fleas sucking me dry, so I'm just gonna lie still for now. The dog, uh, thinking, like, if I don't move, maybe he won't notice. Look at that! That door's pretty resilient! Cool animations, though. I loved the- I loved the animation. Dun, 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 dun! Hey, hey l l listen to what I gotta say! When I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed- Oh, oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. Anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks, the local ruffians, and they were really going wild. Suddenly I noticed the picky was gone. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm going to get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find picky? No. And credits. No. If you refuse me, I'll say something that'll cut you like a knife. Will you come with me? Uh, no. Okay, okay, I won't say anything to hurt you. Will you please come with me? No. If you refuse me, I'll say something that'll cut you like a knife. One more time. Okay, okay, I won't say anything to hurt you. All right, fine. Okay, good buddy, let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? All right. Let's talk. I know that the dog is unreliable, but you should take Thor along. The cracked bat in Tracy's room could help you out at a time like this. I got it already. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural-born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. Man, she is so reassuring. It just makes me feel like a hero already. You know? Ugh, look at that. Pokey. Ugh. All right, you go out in front, and I'll follow at a safe distance. Let's get going. Pokey joined. Let's take Thor with us. And, pretty soon, uh... Do you want me to go with you? Yes. I guess I have no choice. Let's go. <clears throat> okay, so Thor joined. The phone's about to ring. Told you. Look at that phone animation. I answered the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Do you have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, th the father of a hero, at least. <laughs> Slam. Beep. Man, this just gets you pumped for adventure. Adventure. Uh-oh, we have a wild dog. Well, looks like we're in battle right now. I'm gonna bash the dog. The dog is making a loud, piercing howl. Four. Seven. Damage. Making a loud, piercing howl. Thor used a biting attack. Pokey used me as a shield. I attacked. The runaway dog is making a loud, piercing howl. Ooh, Thor, nice job. Good boy, Thor. Good boy, Thor. You won. All right. Four experience. I'm now level two. My offense went up by one. Maximum HP went up by one. Maximum psychic points went up by two. I realized the power of life up A. Unbelievable. Look at all this good fortune. We just killed one enemy. Man. The year is 1990X. X gonna give it to you. Oh, we got a spiteful crow here. 
They like to dodge. Ooh, he picked up my eyes. Nine hit the point of damage. Four, smash attack, 13. Yep, they like to dodge. Ooh, pecked in my eyes. Man, I might be going down. Nah. A band doesn't go down easy. There was a cookie. You know, if I eat this cookie, if I eat this cookie, I'll uh, regain six hit points. Ooh, seven. Look at that. Well, we're going to take out another spiteful crow. Tried to get behind him so that we could have a surprise opening attack with a green uh, swirl. But... Yep. Nice job, Thor. Thor's a good boy. He knows what's going on. Well, I'm going to eat that other cookie because uh, I need cookies. I could eat the bread roll, but we're going to save that. All right. There's a snake. Later on, you'll meet some of these that, uh... The coil snake. We've engaged the coil snake. Ooh, four hit points to ABAM. I missed. Nice job, Thor. All right, coil snake. They'll give us one XP. Yep, not not a lot from that, not from a snake. But these crows, these crows give us three. Pokey does not do one attack at all during any of these battles. Just so any, oh, he stole the bread roll. Son of a gun, stole my bread roll. I should be able to get my bread roll back, you know? That's what you want. Get your bread roll back. Or I could have left it there for uh, this fight. And I would have picked it up this far up. That's kind of why they set it there. Okay. Well, it looks like uh, we got some secondary impact points here from the uh, from meteor discharges. Ooh! I knew this was going to be such a scary place. I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. Thor is off. Thor is gone. Eh, that guy's gone. Hey, look, there's Picky just sleeping. Because you're fat ass. Hey, look at me when I'm talking to you, chubby. You left him here. You blew it. Well, oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you're okay, at least. Let's go home now. I bet mom and dad are worried sick about us. Jeez. Sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. See? See, Picky... Picky is... Picky's okay. Pokey's just terrible. Hey, Vamp. Do you hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? No? Oh, now I hear it. I hear it now. What is going on? The meteor's glowing. Oh, it's Buzz Buzz. A bee, I am. Not. I'm from 10 years in the future. And in the future, all is devastation. Gigas, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there's a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Abam. This, I believe. Gygus's monster plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gaius. Three things are of the utmost importance, wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gaius. 
I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Avam. Did you listen to what I told you? Yes. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. Buzz Buzz joins us. And he flies around uh, our hat. Hey, man. It looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said. Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. <sighs> Don't worry, Pokey. You're not a part of it. You're the worst part of it. You're not a part of the good side. You're a part of the evil. Fun to be back into this again. Uh oh. Is this a Starman Jr.? It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gaiga's plans. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. The Starman Jr. attacked! Well, Buzz Buzz is gonna put a shield on us right away. But I'm gonna have a bash attack. Buzz Buzz tried Psychic Shield. Sigma. Psychic Fire. Beta. You wouldn't survive this without the... So Pokey does nothing again. Um, Picky will do a couple things in this attack. There you go. Uh, Buzz Buzz is the strongest one, of course. And, uh, Pokey used me as a shield. Ooh. That spell that he used any of these at this level without Buzz Buzz, we would not be able to survive it. End credits. There we go. Starman Jr. was defeated. Gained 16 experience. My gosh, my level is now three. Oh, baby. Offense went up by three. Guts went up by one. Vitality went up by 1, IQ went up by 1, maximum hit points went up by 14, maximum psychic points went up by 3. Whew. I was taking a big chance there. He came from 10 years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygus, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gygus' influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. Uh, uh, okay, I got it. Well, let's take these uh, two home here. Let's uh, meet the uh, minches. And look at this, look at this animation. This woman's scared. Oh, good lord. Oh. Oh. Where in the Sam Hill have you boys been? I'll have to think of a suitable punishment. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. That's that's how I imagine he sounds. Disgustingly pretentious. By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finished last. That's the story of our life. That's that's these two. Ah! Oh, I think it's a dung beetle. 
No, oh, smash your guts out! Well. Great. Cool. Yeah, so he just goes on nagging and she says that he's very soft hearted and Buzz Buzz, you okay? Buzz Buzz? Uh, I was much weaker than I thought, so you must now begin your adventure. See you. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gygus, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near one end. It's called Giant Step. Go there first. You understand? All right. You are a very intelligent young man, and... Oh, the pain! Everything is getting dark. <gasps> Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the soundstone. You can record the melodies from the eight your sanctuary locations into this stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. But did you want to hear the story one more time? No, I'm good. Good. It's already dawn outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Oh! <gasps> I got the soundstone. And that was the end of Bus Bus. Well, let's go see what happened to Pokey and Picky. Well, Picky looks upset, so we'll talk to him. I don't want to look at the meteorite anymore. All right, then we got this guy. My dad really got after me. He said I get no dessert for the rest of the decade. Probably do you some good there, Tubbs. Just saying. Yeah, he's, they're gonna say the same thing. Later, losers. Great soundtrack, too. All right, everybody. If you're at home watching this, do it with us. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant me memory. Everybody say fuzzy pickles. Fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. And away he goes! Love it. I picked up the receiver. I'm gonna call Dad. Hey, ma'am? To Dad. I deposited $42 into your bank account. Taking away what you spent, you should now have $72 in the bank. Well, experience to get to the next level. Hey, ma'am. 14. Anyway, what do you need from me? Hey, Dad, let's make a record. All done. Your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I've created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night. Sleep tight. We're a great team, aren't we? Well, you should turn the power off instead of just press and reset. All right? Well, everyone, thanks for joining me for this episode of Earthbound. You know... Follow on Twitch to see it live. Check out the video on YouTube if you're on Twitch. Subscribe. Leave a like. Comment. You want this to become a series? Because I'll go on with it. I want to hear from you guys. Thanks for all the support. I can't do it without you. This is Avam saying, I'll see you next time. We're on. Thanks for watching.